Welcome to episode 8 of Building 1313 in Lego. This episode I'll hopefully like to uh, finish this section by filling up some filler right there and then showing you guys what I've done so far in this LED light section. Now let's go look at that. Here's a better look at creating a light brick. All you have to get is a 1x2 trans clear piece or whatever color you want to get the um, desired effect and then a 1x2 plate and then place one of these like LED lights in the center of it and then turn it on. Nice thing about this, it since it's a brick, you can place it anywhere in the lock, so it has a great looking effect of having an ambient red color look. Here's a better look at those LEDs I used. So they're actually like little cactuses, cacti, whatever, but um, I cut off the little limbs, so it has like a smaller impact. So it's just like this little thing, which is great because these little one by one uh, cylinder tubes, I just place on there and just make it any color I want. And there are some different transparent, um, different pieces I can use for different colors to give different uh, effects of the, the LED. So here's what it looks like when it's on. Because initially they're all green because they're cactuses. And the nice thing about this, it actually fits under the the bricks, which is great because other LED lights usually really big and bulky, but these are actually like copper LED lights. And it's a great price because it was only three bucks at grocery outlet. So whenever you can find some sort of um, cheap alternative lights like this, so always search other places for other alternatives because you'll always find something. Like in this case, I found these um, LED lights at grocery outlet. I really am blown away how great this looks has a combination of green lights with blue lights to give that nice natural lived in look. So to start off, I put lights on the side of the grate right here, which it does have a nice effect since usually it would just be blackness right there, but it has a nice like kind of depth. Then the next light is off to the top left. Put some one by two or one by one cylinder cylindrical tubes uh, in blue right there to give that blue color. And then these ones here are just like, they're there just to see what it looks like so far. But the ones in the back are finalized. I made sure to, to have like everything backlit equally. And the, the foreground right here where the Mandalorian stands has a um, light shining straight on the figure, which looks amazing. Here's a better behind the scenes look at the lights back here. They're simply just like, setting in place sitting there and it doesn't matter if i touch them or not because it's all going to be covered up and i just have to make sure i don't pull on the strings the amazing part about this this is only the start of 1313 just a quick reminder those lights are only three dollars and look how amazingly they worked in the little section of the mock so far so it doesn't matter how much you spend on a mock particularly in the lights but just how well you integrate them so another aspect of in installing LED lights in the mock is making sure you plan everything out beforehand because you have to make sure like these lights come out to a specific area because you don't want to have extra lights sticking out places you don't want it to be. So what I have to do is um, actually plan everything out by drawing it beforehand. Here's a good look what I did. So this whole section right here is the platform and right there is the um, the opening. So it's top-down view like this. And then when you see this section, how it's kind of hard to tell, but these rectangles are actually supposed to be um, crates and cargo, since this whole area is actually like a cargo uh, holding area. So that's what that looks like. And then these uh, blue lines are actually rafters going out through the, um, the ceiling. And then right here is going to be the section where uh, Fives captures... Captain Rex and Anakin, and then this section right here is kind of hard to tell, but it's, um, I would say about right here. So this is the balcony. It's going to be more of a rectangular right here. And then this is where uh, Fives is going to die. And going back to the plans, and you look at this section right here, um, on the very far edge right here, it's going to be like... I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's a like a cargo conveyor belt 
and as you see right here it says exit so about right here um it would continue on going all the way down and then i have like a little exit right here going out to the rest of 1313 so it's like it'll make everything cohesive in this whole mock so say if a, a ship drops off some cargo and then it'll um, be like sort of like an amazon uh, fulfillment area so it like sorts everything and then puts everything on a conveyor belt and then takes it off to the rest of the people in 1313. So when you're designing a mock, make sure you plan everything out beforehand so you understand what bricks you need and an overall idea of what you're gonna build. Sort of like in houses, buildings, and stuff. So I'd say this section's most important aspect of building an entire mock because if you don't know what you're gonna build, uh, why bother building? Now let's go start doing this filler. Okay, so before I start building, I um, I sort of raise this level so it actually uses one less um, uh, or two less bricks instead. So that's a good technique. And then also a great technique to use when you want to stack uh, whatever brick is, say, grab these uh, two by two bricks. You stack them vertically, and then you break them off to what height you want, just like that. And then you break it off to like two, and you just keep on doing that. Like that so if you do that with like studs you can get a lot of stud coverage for like water which i always comment on other people's videos when you want to place a lot of uh one by one studs just place them in like a stack like this and then you know do that and keep on doing that i can get that you know there's a three one so that's really one great technique to place a lot of um, bricks over a large surface. So roughly an hour later, I complete this whole section, which is nice because I don't know if it can tell on the camera correctly, but I use the older light gray and the light bluish gray. So it has a kind of like um, dirty rustic feeling. And then it kind of like transitions into um, the old dark gray, which is nice because I get to use all those old colors that no one really uses compared to um, light bluish gray and dark bluish gray. I can also use the light bluish gray for other sections of the mock later on but overall i just like the um the aesthetic so here's a better look what i did i made this section so it's nice and linear and then using the slope plate to make it more um uh parallel with this line so it looks really nice and it kind of continues on there the nice thing about this section it's a um straight line so if you get like a plate and then you place right here it's exactly a straight line right there, so which is really nice because this whole section more, looks more uh, correct. And then from there, I continue this section going on. And I didn't do this section because that's going to be uh, all covered up like a wall. And then this section's all different colors because it kind of like slopes up and then goes upward, upwards, about like right to here. Sort of like in a um, Death Star hangar. So I just finished the section lock, which I think looks pretty good since it's hard to tell the scale, but it's about, so there's ordinary figure. So that's a pretty decent size. It's about a uh, foot long by at least six inches high. So I thought it turned out pretty well. The wall in the show isn't that prominent. So this is kind of what I went off of. Here's another addition I made to this wall. So if you notice in the show, there's actually like some sort of like uh, conveyor belt right there. 
And I think I made that technique really nicely since it looks exactly like that in the show. And what it is, it's a single bar and like some sort of droid arm connected with um, uh, like a one by one or one by four bar with like a pin on the side. And then do play that like, I don't know, like 30 times. So it has that like conveyor belt feeling, which looks really nice overall. I love that technique since it does really complement this whole section of the lock. And I'm not sure if I'll continue this on a second level, like right here, because in the show it's actually there's two of them. There's one right there, and then one going like vertically this way. Or well, not vertically, horizontally. But overall, I just love this section, how it came out. So it's a little bit off topic, but I just replaced um the overhead lights in this room. So that one's more warmer versus this one's more cooler. This is the most recent one, which I love how it looks on the mock, since it really does change up the whole mood and aesthetic of the mock. So if you guys really wonder how to make a mock pop, mess around with different light fixtures. So you can have cool um, warm light on this side and cool light on this side of the mock, but that's a little just off topic. But the next section I want to work on is the, uh, the ray shield, which is going to be like about right here or here, somewhere somewhere between here. And it's going to be really cool because it's going to be using one by one trans clear bricks. And Here's the design I came up with the ray shield. First off, it's not really the best design in Lego since it's like trans, trans clear. But when you look at it from this angle, it looks pretty good since it, wait, right, right there, because in the show, it's roughly about that size in width and height. Since it does come like sort of to a, a point and it's kind of um, egg shaped. So if you look on episode three, like the section where um, Anakin and Obi-Wan get captured by General Grievous and the Ray Shields, I would say it looks kind of similar to that. But I made sure that the sections right here are larger panels compared to a one by two brick because you have that. Um, the overall like better better uh transparency but this would be pretty cool to see what it looks like in the mock i would like to have this little thing um be modular so if i want to replace it be really easy to do so here's what the ray shield looks like in the mock which i think looks pretty nice and decent correct size it's about like two um minifigures in height i had to kind of like put some more uh one by two plates on the bottom to make everything all connect so it's really easy to like remove this whole section so that's what uh captain rex and anakin look like so far just standing next to each other but then i made it so that it's the same diameter as they are so all i have to do is like place it on top so that's what it looks like but overall i really like that but from the outside it kind of looks really weird for those not understanding what this is also another off topic thing I looked off to the background and those shadows look amazing with these two lights above. So it reflects to make it like X shape, which looks really interesting. Hopefully you guys like it too. So that wraps up everything in this week's episode of the ep Building 1313 Lego. Hopefully this compensates by missing last week since I did finish the floor and the wall and also incorporate some nice LED lights in the whole mock, well, not the whole mock, but the sewers section. So I want you guys to make sure to keep on building. Stay safe and have a good day.